Okay? Initiative is an action. It's an action. It, it's not anything that's passive. It's not something that, you know, we are going to sit back and wait for it to happen to us. And, you know, it'll take its time and I'll just kind of whatever with it. Initiative is an action. You have to put it into play. You have to work. You have to hustle. You have to grind. Okay? And the first thing you got to do is, is look at this. This is a study done by Michael Fries and Doris Fay, and they looked at work behavior and how initiative is connected to that. And they said work behavior is characterized by its self-starting nature, its proactive approach, and being persistent in overcoming difficulties that arise in the pursuit of a goal. You might have different goals in your life. Obviously, you have different uh, careers you want to go into. You have different things you want to accomplish. Whatever those things are, Initiative is paired along, right alongside with it. If you don't have initiative, you will not get to where you want to get to. You will not have the, the pursuit of the goal uh, end up in a good spot for yourself. Okay? So the first thing I want you to look at is being a mover, not a stander. Be a mover, not a stander. Initiative takes action. If you are willing to just stand and let things come to you or let things pass you by, you're not going to make it anywhere telling you right now, you will not make it anywhere, doing anything in any walk of life. Be a mover, not a stander. Second thing I want you to look at, do more than what's required. Do more, not what's asked of you, not the bare minimum, not just under uh, what is required do of you. Do more. And, and that's something that a lot of people don't want to do. Tell me what I got to do, I'm going to do that and do that only. Uh, give me the bare minimum number of hours I got to work and give me the time I have to work. You clock in, clock out, and that's when I'm leaving. That's when I'm arriving. That's average. That's what average people do. That's what average people in any life uh, will do. I, I think you are all more than average. And I think if you don't think that, you need to believe that in yourself, that you are more than average. But the above average person does more than what's required of them. Your boss says, hey, this is what I need you to do. You're going to do more. Required of them. Third thing is this. Maybe you should think of the team. Think of the team a little bit. You are going to be a part of a team for the rest of your life. And I'm not just talking about an athletic team or a committee or um, a group project. I'm talking about the team of your coworkers, the team of your friends, the team of your family. That's a team the team of the relationships you will have the rest of your life. That is a team. So when you're taking initiative, think of the team. What's it going to do to the team? Is it going to help this team or is it going to hurt the team? Is it going to take away from what the team wants to do? The team wants to win. Your family wants to win. You uh, and your job want to win. So what are you doing to take initiative that helps the team move Amen. forward? Fourth here. Share ideas and thoughts. Sometimes we're, we're so nervous to take initiative on something, we need to just talk it out with somebody. We need to share our ideas, share the thoughts we might have. You never know what will come of it if you, you know, let, don't get it out there. Share your ideas and thoughts, and initiative might spur because of it. And then in relation to that, consider others' ideas and thoughts. And I notice I put consider. I didn't say agree. Okay, I, I don't think that means you have to agree with everybody's ideas and thoughts. That might spur you to take initiative into something. That might, again, you might have a connection or friendship with that person and say, you know what, I, I want to hop in with you. Let's do this together. But you have to consider somebody else's ideas and somebody's thoughts and then take initiative based on that. I, I want you to ask questions. Ask questions. Taking initiative does not mean you're standing still. Matter of fact, you're, you're either getting better or you're getting worse. You're never standing the same. And so ask questions. You know, annoy, be the person that annoys their doctor. Your doctor says, hey, take this uh, twice a day. Well, why am I taking it twice a day? What is it going to do for me? What is this magical pill called? It has a weird name and I can't pronounce it. Ask all the questions you need to. You're, you're struggling in a class. Ask the questions to your teacher. I'm, I don't really get this. What does this mean? What, what did you mean when you said this? Hey, when is this due again? Ask all the questions. If you want to take initiative and you want to pursue something, you need to ask the questions to figure things out. You can't expect you to understand it. And I, I wouldn't expect you to understand everything the first time either. But if you don't ask the questions, you're never going to understand it. 
All right, because remember, Pablo Picasso put down there at the bottom, and I like that quote, action is the foundational key to all success. Initiative and action are, are one and the same. You can't take initiative if you don't put some action behind it.